2023 with a lot of goals. As always. Always. Uh, most of us have the same desire when it came mm -hmm. to staying fit. That's right. And with so many exercises to choose from, we're bringing in an expert who will mm -hmm. forecast some of the top five workout trends this year. That's right. They're right. always changing. They're always changing. Mm -hmm. You know what's never changing, though? What's that? The fact that we should be fit doing in it. some doing way, them, shape, or yes. form. <laughs> Joining us this morning is NYU Lingon sports medicine physician, Dr. Julia Ayafrete. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure. We're all going to stand together now. Yes. Make <laughs> um, so, yes. Chris and I talk about this all the time. Everyone tries to find what's the latest and greatest. What's the trend? What how works can, best? How can we be healthy and for people with crazy schedules right. do it maybe not spending two hours in the gym? Right. So I call it the exercise snack. The exercise snack is a great idea. <laughs> but you are the actual <laughs> expert, so what am I really saying right. here? Right. So there are trends that we see coming every year, um, and there's differences between fads and trends, yeah. right? Mm. So fad is something that social media deems it kind of hot and, right. if I can say sexy, sexy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he and tries then, those every night, by Right, the way. of course. Like lifting, a, <laughs> lifting a goat or something right, like that. Right, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. right, exactly. Um, there's no animals harmed in this, uh, exactly. <laughs> in this uh, segment. But the idea is that finding something, first of all, that works for right. you. Um, and so exercise snacks, as somebody who's a busy woman, mm -hmm. I can totally understand that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, an exercise snack, the idea is being able to do something that's maybe a 15 to 20 minute, mm -hmm. you know, hard and quick session. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be crazy. You want to break it down into abs, you can do that. There's a big thing on TikTok right now that's talking about standing abs. It's literally a hashtag right now. Are you saying standing abs, abs as an abdomen? Like can, abdomen workouts. You can work while standing. Work Correct. Abs? So you could use something like a kettlebell, which I have here. Okay. Oh, look, she just, just happens to have one. I have one in my back pocket. You. Yeah. But you could use a kettlebell and literally um, be standing, do circles with the kettlebell to try to maintain. I think Christopher should try this. Sure. You could do some okay. rotations okay. using the kettlebell oh, yep. holding, it, hold <laughs> holding it out in front of you so I like this for him. and even kettlebell rotations around the body so this is all work that you could do you could just oh, literally be I, handing it around? yes oh. exactly I love this the idea him. is engaging the core oh. and you could do that single legged as well oh. one other thing oh, I like <laughs> want... even in now the you're mornings, asking a lot here you're doing yes. so great. Thank you. I know. Even in the mornings, I like telling my patients to try to do uh, mobility training while they yeah. are, are just getting ready in the morning. So I'll have them brush their teeth on one leg. Mm. It's what is, great what, yeah, what is training. the definition of mobility training? Because right. so, that is a buzzword that I've seen it's, everywhere. Yes, it's also very uh, popular. It, mobility is basically a form of functional training. The goal is we're trying to um, do exercises that enhance our activities of daily living or that are pertinent to our activities of daily oh. living. So it's not just static stretching. We're not about static stretching yeah. anymore. It's about dynamic warm-ups and, and keeping the muscles limber. I like her. You know who else would like her? Dr. Lander. Good Dr. Yeah, Lander. There you go. <laughs> but to that point, mm -hmm. a lot of folks are exercising maybe after not exercising for a long stretch of time. Right. Injuries. Correct. What are the things we should do to prevent that or the signs that we make sure we don't hurt ourselves too Absolutely. Severely? So one thing I heard uh, going through my training was that practice doesn't make perfect, it makes permanent. <laughs> mm. So that's, isn't that, it's so wise. Yeah. But right. what that so, means <laughs> basically is that if you learn how to do something the wrong way and keep doing it the wrong way yeah. every time, it will continue to be wrong. And yeah. that's where you're at higher risk for injury. So learning how to do things appropriately, whether that means working with a personal mm -hmm. trainer for a period of time, whether that means making sure that you taper your way up and uh, make sure that you learn an exercise that actually works for you. Not every right. exercise is it's great work for, for everybody. everybody. Right. We were right. talking about this earlier that, you know, lifting heavy for me is different than lifting heavy for you, than for huh. you, than for all these other people. Exactly. So my fear is, and you know, I'm, I've been athletic since the time before time, I see so much on Instagram. Mm. And I will, Social media and I will borrow from verified people. If I see this is sure. someone like you, I will borrow it. But then I fear, I know people who are like, oh my God, I'm gonna run a marathon in 2020 to me. And I'm like, eh. Yeah, maybe do we, sometimes do, do less. Yeah, maybe <laughs> sometimes. What advice do you have for people who are who literally are like, I'm not gonna go to, I, I can't afford a trainer. Sure. I'm on Instagram all day, I might as well do something yeah you know, what, what advice do you have for them so that they train safely right so so there are some online uh, availability but the uh, we saw with the ACSM trends that came out this mm -hmm. year 
online gyms, home gyms, those all fell by the wayside because mm. people want to be out and around other humans now, right? There's a lot of groups that do outdoor activities that are free, even outdoor hiking. I mean, you can do that with True. this group, which is great. Yeah. Not in February, though. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And the other thing is really, like I said, looking at what works for you. Try a few different mm -hmm. things. Keep it interesting for yourself. And then, of course, you always have sports medicine physicians available right. to you mm -hmm. if you do get injured. But it really is key to vary the, the routine because it can get very stale and stale. Very and stale. Yeah, and that's the other nice thing about wearable technology. I, I was have just going to say, items I, on see today. The ring right. I see the watch. So the, yeah. the rings, the smart watches, these things can, um, number one, keep you accountable because you can actually add friends onto it and you can compete. I'm super competitive. My boyfriend will tell you that. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> it's, would never a know. Great never. Way, <laughs> it's a great way to work out together um, and still kind of encourage each yeah. other yeah. as well. Plus, you can track your sleep right. and know that maybe one day was not your day to do mm -hmm. a marathon that maybe was, today's the day to just do some yoga that was right. something i was going to ask about you know we we joked earlier in the tease that the best workout sometimes is sleep yes <laughs> why is that true <laughs> our body needs to to get better it yeah. needs to heal itself it has this inherent ability to get better on its own it really does yeah. and so sleep allows us that time for all that cellular network and all those mm -hmm. little cellular interworkings to actually heal ourselves right. so you get delayed onset muscle soreness for example or DOMS mm -hmm. right. after you do a very hard workout especially one that you haven't done in a long time mm -hmm. or that you're not familiar with the reason that happens is you get these micro tears right. in the muscles okay. yeah. mm -hmm. that don't heal up because because they've been stressed I'm too far. I'm coming behind you as we toss to, to break. Them. Give us a give Quick. us a give us a something. A quickie. A something. You so just doing that. I love I'll well, keep doing I love this. those. I also love goblet squats with oh, the with the kettlebell. So a goblet you take squat that and the kettlebell. Hold it here in front of you and you drop down into that squat. I liken this. it to uh, hovering over a toilet you don't want to sit on. Oh, so that's what I'm doing. Well, that's every day here. No, you want to drop down. While exactly. these two are doing this, you can follow Dr. We Julia Iafrate. How do you pronounce it? In English, Iafrate. In Italian, it's Iafrate. Whatever. Iafrate. On Instagram, <laughs> at Dr. J NYC.